Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hello, Marifela. How are you? Hi, thank you, Angel. Yes, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. So how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Good. It was good. Okay, nice. It's good, sí. And the platform, Maricela? ¿Has estado trabajando en la plataforma? Hello, María. Hoy no. Hoy no, no me quedo tiempo. Okay. Sí, comprendo. Pero, sí, Pero ya... he adelantado un poquito. Sí, ya voy en... Todo lo que usted dio ayer, sí, ya lo terminé. Okay. Okay. Este, solo de lo, de lo, por los números voy. Excelente. Vamos entonces bastante bien. Ya estamos terminando la sección 1. Excelente. Ajá. Sí. Okay. Mañana voy a adelantar. Very good. Good evening, María Rosales. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm pretty fine too. So, how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día, María? Mire, no me voy a arruinar mis. Muy bien, haciendo tarea. <laughs> oh, doing homework. So, you study? Yes. Tercer What año. Study? What's your major? ¿Qué carrera? Contabilidad. Estoy terminando el bachillerato. Oh, nice. Very good. And the platform, Maria, have you been working on it? ¿Has estado trabajando en plataforma? Eh, me he quedado siempre en el 2.10. Es que todavía hay unas que no, que no las he pasado, entonces oh. ahora voy a trabajar en esta noche. Bueno, está bien. Very good. Good evening, Andrea Michelle. Hello. How are you? Very fine. Fine. How was your day? Sí. You say qué tal? Very good. And the platform, Andrea? Have you been working? Eh, sí, voy por el 2.7. 2.7. Qué bien. Vamos bastante adelantados. <laughs> sí. Okay. Un poquito. ¿Y ha comprendido todo? Eh, sí, anteriormente ya estoy un poquito inglés, entonces tengo un poquito de conocimiento, entonces como refrescando un poquito. Un repaso, sí, claro. Qué bien. Good evening, mi day. Good evening, Miss Lily. How are you? I'm fine. Great. And the platform, maybe? Have you been working on it? Ahí voy, avanzando. Okay, very good. ¿En qué ejercicio estamos? En el, en el punto, quiero ver, 1.10, creo yo. Okay, excellent. Vamos bien. Good evening, Jasmine Aguirre. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, excellent. And how about the platform? Have you been working? Pues, este, todavía no he empezado a trabajar porque he tenido tareas de, de no sé, estudiando, entonces creo que ahora en la noche voy a empezar. Bueno. Sí, es importante que, que iniciemos ahí el trabajo para que vayamos eh, familiarizándonos, ¿ok? So, please, okay. try to, to work on it, ¿ok? Good okay. evening, Gerardo. Hey, teacher. How are you? Oh, bien. Ok, nice. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? 
estresado porque todavía tengo tareas de universidad. Oh, it was stressful. So what do you study? Gerardo, what do you study? ¿Qué estudia? Eh, ahorita ingeniería mecánica. Oh, interesting. Very good. And the platform, Gerardo, have you been working on it? He llegado hasta la, hasta la 1.9, pero ajá, tengo dudas del verbo tu vida. Yeah. Ah, ok. Es, ¿En qué ejercicio tiene dudas? Quizás en aplicarlo, quizás con la clase me va quedando más claro, si no, le voy a preguntar. Ah, bueno, sí, estoy a la orden. Cualquier consulta me avisan y vemos. Good evening, Lady Abigail. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Have you been working on the platform? ¿Ha estado trabajando en la plataforma, Abigail? Sí. Ok, ¿cómo vamos? Ya terminé. Ahí con los números tuve un poquito de dificultad. Ok. Con el audio que está, que hay que irlo poniendo, pero uh -huh. al fin de intentar tanto lo logramos. Ah, muy bien. Sí, ahí ayer también hablamos un poquito de ese ejercicio. Hay dos números que son el mismo, entonces hay que repetirlo. Eh, sí, creo que es el de, Ajá, de la y... chica que está hablando y la compañera de cuarto, algo así dice. Entonces, es el mismo número. Uh -huh. Ajá, y ahí todo, en la, al escuchar, ¿verdad? Era lo que me costaba, pero, pero ya lo resolvió. Pudimos solucionarlo. Excelente. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Good evening, Enrique Medrano. Good evening. How are you? Sure. <laughs> Bien. <laughs> Bien. Okay. Pretty well. And how about the platform, Enrique? Have you been working? I saw trabajando en plataforma. Sí, sí. Okay. ¿En qué ejercicio vamos? En el, si no me equivoco. Permítame, es que estaba hace un momento estuve trabajando en él. Bueno. Voy en... Ah, no me carga. Pero okay. sí pasé del 1.10. Muy bien, ya Logré estamos terminando este... sección 1. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. Thank you. Good evening, Paola, Alexandra. Buenas noches. How are you? Fine. Great. And the platform, Paola, have you been working on it? Llegué hasta el 2.2. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Good evening, Andrea Michel. Eh, ya me he saludado. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no me, no me di cuenta, lo siento. Está bien. So, ok, so who's missing? Karina, Elizabeth. Hi, Miss. How are you? <laughs> ok. So, have you been working in the platform, Karina? Yes, ya hice la lección la 1 a la 1, bueno, que ya la terminé. Ya tengo el 100% de esa lección. Ok, very nice. Good evening, Christian López. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Nice. So, um, have you been working in the platform too, Christian? Yes, llegué a la 1.10, parece, igual en la parte de los números. All right, very well. Thanks. 
Good evening, Ana Baños. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Fine. Very well. Okay. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And the work in the platform, Ana, have you been doing it? I repeat, please. Yes. Have you been working in the platform? Yes, yes. Sí, trabajé. Okay. Es hasta los números. Logré escuchar todos los números. Very good. So you are almost done with um, section one. Okay, nice. Okay. Good evening, Carlota Ruiz. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Teacher. How I are you? Fine. Okay. Very well. And the platform, Carlota, have you been working? Yes, um, 1.7. Okay, 1.7. That's nice. Hasta ahí creo que. Okay, very good. All right, so I think we are ready to start. So let me just get my presentation over here. And again, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our class. So today we're going to start by reviewing the alphabet. So here we have it. Um, first of all, let me say it and you repeat. So we say A, repeat please. A, A, A B, 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 C, 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 D, 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 E, 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 F, 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 G, 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 H, H, I, 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 J, 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 K, K, L, L, M, 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 N, N, O, O, P, P, Q, Q, R, R, S, S, T, T, U, U, V, V, W, W, X, Y, Z, 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 Z. Okay, pretty good. So let me see. Um, Andrea Michel, can you read the, alph the alphabet, please? Completo. Um, the first part, here until N. Okay, from A to N. Go ahead. Completo. You go from A to N. Hasta la N. A, B, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Let's see, Paola, continue, please. From O to Z. O, B, Q, R, S, P, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. All right, Gerardo, go ahead and read from A to G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. E. Excellent. Christian, from H to N. 
H I H A J K L M N Very good. Eva Carolina from O to T. O P Q R S. Okay. Very good. Let's see Maria Rosales from U to Z. U B W X Y Z. Thank you. All right, so now we are going to practice the different letters. So let's see if you recognize them. For example, um, this letter, how do we say it? Guys, how do we say this one? H. H. Exactly, H. And H. this one is letter D. 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 Okay, how about this one? V. V. V, v. v right? V. V. And this one? B. 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 Exactly. Okay, now this letter. The first A. 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 Right? <laughs> And this one is? I. 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 Exactly. I. Then we have this one. E. 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 How do you say this one? D. 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 Z. 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 Okay. This one is? U. 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 And this one? W. W, w. w or w. w. Okay. W. W. W or W. There's um, both pronunciations. W. Okay. okay. Um, let me add another one. This one? J. 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 This one is? And this one? N. N. Okay. And this one? M. M. Okay. Excellent. So you got them all. Now, um, well, yesterday we were practicing spelling names and last names. So we are going to continue with that practice. Let me just send you to the breakout rooms now and give you a couple of minutes for you to spell your first name and your last name. So it would be like, my first name is Liliana. It, that's L-I-L-I-A-N-A. -A. Then you say, my last name is Mendoza. That's M-E-N-D-O-Z-A. Okay, that's what you have to do. You spell your first name and your last name, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, so let me send you to the breakout rooms. Los voy a mandar entonces a los grupos pequeños para que hagamos esta práctica. Dice su nombre, lo deletrea, y luego dice su apellido y lo deletrea, okay? Okay. Ready. Right. So... There you are. No sé si quieres empezar tú o empiezo yo. Está bien. Eh, comienzo entonces. Ok. My name is Maria. My last name is Rosales. Eh, eh, my name is Maria. M -A -R -I -A. Uh -huh. sí. M-A-R-I-A. My last name R- 
R-O-S-A-L-E-S. -S. Okay. My first name. Yeah. A-M-D-R-E-A. -E last name. A R D U E D A. And your last name? Is el segundo. A R G. No, perdón. A R G U E D A. Okay. Arqueta. Mm -hmm. My name is Maricela, and her -R -R. first name is Anna. That A M A. My last name is Baños. That B A N O S. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué otro ejercicio íbamos a hacer? El, solo ese. ¿Quiere que deletreamos el nombre suyo? Y el mío es Lorena Monterrosa. Monterrosa, ajá. Eso sí, ya lo noté. Hi, girls. Uh -huh. Hi. So, Lorena, eh, le iba a comentar como no sabía su nombre, disculpe, pero eh, nos aparece el número de teléfono, entonces no sé si puede cambiarle ahí para que tengamos mejor el nombre. Fíjese que de hecho no es mi número ese, yo no sé por qué no sale. Ah, me salí de ayuda. Pues sale ese número, no sé de dónde salió. Sí, eh, depende del teléfono, a veces este lo registra automáticamente el teléfono, entonces eso debe ser. Si quiere cambiar el nombre, puede ir a donde dice Participants. Ahí en la bonita que tiene abajo, dice Participants. Ahí aparece luego eh, usted registrada con el número. Al poner el puntero en el, en el número, sale la opción More. Uh, dice desactivar audio y dice más. Le, más. le doy más. Sí, en más y ahí le sale renombrar o cambiar el nombre, no sé cómo. Fue. Ahí lo puede ver. Bueno. Ok. All right, so we're getting back in a couple of minutes. In a couple of seconds, I mean. En un par de segundos estamos de vuelta a la clase. Bye. Okay, so now let me hear some of the spelling. Let's see, Jasmine Aguirre, can you go ahead and spell your first name? Okay. My first name is Jasmine, J-A-S-M-I-N. Very good, Jasmine, thank you. Let's You're see. welcome. Um, Gerardo, can you spell your last name, please? Uh, my my last name is Ernesto. That's E oh, R. Name. Gerardo, that is apellido, last name, okay? Uh, my, my last name is Argueta. Okay. Entonces, A R G U E I E A. <laughs> Me cuesta todavía. It's okay, you're fine. Thank you, Gerardo. Mm, Maricela, can you spell your first name, please? Check your microphone. Excuse me. It's okay. Uh, my my favorite is my second name. 
Oh, is okay. Maricela. N-A-R-I-C-E-L-A. Uh, -E All right. Excellent, Maricela. Thank you. Let's see. Lorena, can you spell your last name, please? Check your microphone. Solo recordar, cuando venimos del ejercicio en grupos pequeños, siempre se nos apaga el micrófono, entonces hay que activarlo nuevamente. Yeah. My last name is Monterrosa. M-O-N-T-E-R-R-O-V-E. Hey, excellent. Thank you, Lorena. Hi. Very good. Let's see, Eva Carolina. Can you spell your last name? My last name is C A N O. Very good. Carlota, can you spell your first name, please? My first name is Carlota. C A R L O T A. Very good, Carlota. Okay, so I see we're doing pretty well with this. Let me just um, explain a couple of things. So let's see, we say, my name is, repeat please. My, my name, name is. is. But you have to say name, name. Es a M al final, name. suena, name. 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 Okay, so we have to pronounce it correctly. Like name, something like this, right? Name. My name. 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 My name is. Yes. Okay. My y name. hay también una forma contractada que es my names. My name. My name. My name. Okay, pero sí es importante la pronunciación de name. Name. Se termina en M, name. right? Name. Nay. So keep on practicing that one and just remember, um, look, my name is Liliana Maria Mendoza. So my first name is Liliana. Then my middle name is Maria. And my last name is Mendoza. Okay? So remember about that. First name, middle name, then last name. Please repeat. Okay. First name. 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 Repeat. First name. First name. First name. Middle name. Middle name. Middle name. Last name. Last name. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia my middle? Middle. My middle name is. My middle name is. Middle. Middle. My middle. My middle name is my, is my middle name. Middle. Exactly. Middle. middle. Y las palabras, eh, por ejemplo, first corresponde a lo que es primer, ¿verdad? La pueden utilizar también en otras ocasiones como primer. My first name, mi primer nombre, right? My first you could, name. You could also say um, some other things using first, like um, the first um, the first student is going to participate. El primer estudiante, right? The first student. Eh, middle, que es en medio, o el de en medio, right? And then last sería último. Y que en el caso, pues no... Eh, bueno, acá lo que traducimos como last name, apellido. Pero eh, esa palabra last significa último también. Okay, so now let's review um, the possessive adjectives pretty quickly. So remember that we started four. And we said that we have a different possessive adjective for each of the subjects. 
So for I, I say, ¿cuál sería el posesivo correspondiente a I? Me. My. That's right. I am. My. 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 For you, we have? Your. Your mm. or your. Mm. Your. Mm. your. Para ese your. tenemos dos tipos de pronunciación también. Yo usualmente lo pronuncio como your, pero la pronunciación your es correcta también, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. So, okay. your or your. Then mm -hmm. we have one for he. What do we say? His. 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 And the one for she is? Hair. Hair, Hair. Yes. exactly. So yeah. there you have them. For I, we say my, you, your, he, his, and she, her. Repeat, please. I, 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 my, I, my, 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 you, you, your, 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 your he, 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 his, 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 she, 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 hair. She, hair. 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 Okay, so we already mentioned that we can use it, use it in sentences about names, for example, when we say my name is, her name is, his name is, or we could also use it with the favorites, right? My favorite color is, her favorite color is, or um, his favorite sport is, and so on. But now I have some other sentences where we use possessive adjectives for us to practice. So here I have a sentence and we are going to complete it using the corresponding possessive adjective. Vamos a ir completando Your. las oraciones con el adjetivo correspondiente. Exactamente, acá necesitamos your. Your car is new. Your car is new. Your car is new. Number two, Jasmine. So what do we write? Hair. 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 Hair house is very nice. Hair house is Hair very nice. Hair is very nice. Mm -hmm. Number three, your brother. His. His. His hair is long. His hair is long. Okay, then we have the girl. What would be the corresponding form of the possessor? Hair. 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 Hair shoes are expensive. Hair shoes are expensive. Number five. I. My. 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 Yes, so we say, my book is interesting. My book is interesting. My book is interesting. Number six, Josh. His dog is little. His dog is little. So it's little. Number seven, you. Sure. Your eyes are blue. Your eyes are blue. Number eight, I. My. 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 We say my house is big. My house is big. Then we have Laura. Her, 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 book, her book bag is pink. Her book bag is pink. Okay, and we got one last one. It talks about Nelson. He. 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 He
His socks are funny. His socks are funny. His socks are funny. His socks are funny. Okay, and um, do you understand all the vocabulary we have here? Entendemos todo el vocabulario. Tenemos alguna consulta, tal vez alguna palabra. Sock. Socks, calcetines. Yes. Okay. Calcetines and funny. Do you know the meaning of funny? Gracioso. Gracioso. Thank you. Then let's see. Um, how about expensive? Do you understand that one? Barato. Caro. 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 What? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Please. This word? Expensive. 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 Okay. O ex. Ex. Interesante. Interesante. Oh, this one is interesting. 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 Okay. Do we have any other question about any of the words? Pronunciation or meaning? Bath. ¿Qué significa? Um, this one, bag, bolsa. Mm -hmm. Book bag sería un bolsón. Right? Mm -hmm. Un bolso, como una mochila. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's continue. So let's see. Um, well, we are going to solve a knowledge check. Let me get. Okay, let me go to the platform. So there we are. We are going to um, solve this exercise about spelling names. We are going to listen to the five conversations and check the correct answer for each. So there we have two different options. We are going to listen to the spelling and select the one that is correct. So let's see. How do you spell the names? Can you listen to that? ¿Lo pueden escuchar? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Yeah. So let's do the exercise. Listen and check the correct answers. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J-O-N. Okay, thank you. All right, so the first one, how do you spell Yan? In this case. The first one? The first one? Yes. The first one. Okay. So we say first and second. Primero y segundo. First, second, okay? All right. Okay. So it's the first one in this case. J O N. Two. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S A R A H? No. My name is spelled S A R A. I'm sorry. Okay. So which one is the correct? The first. 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 It's first. only S-A-R-A, -A, right? No H. Right. Number Could you three? repeat that? Yes, it's S-A-R-A. -A. Got it. Thanks. Three. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen. That's S-T-E-V. No, it's spelled S T E P H E N. Oh, excuse me. S T E P H E N. That's. Okay, so what's Second. the other one? Stephen. Second. 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 Right? With P H. S T E P H E N. And the last uh, one, right. I believe. Four. Your name, please. It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K A T H E R I N E? No, it's K A T H R Y N. Oh, 
So it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Thank you. Okay, so which one is the correct one? Second. Second one would be five. K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. And yes. we have a last conversation. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C-H-R-I-S? No, it's spelled K-R-I-S. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. Thanks. Okay, which one is correct? Exactly, K-R-I-S. Okay, pretty good. All right, so now let's move on and talk a little bit about the personal pronouns. Vamos a hablar entonces un poquito de los pronombres personales. So we already know them. Let's just make them clear. Let's review. So first of all, we have I. I, ¿qué significa? What's the meaning of I? Yo. Yo, Yo right? Yeah. Then we have you. That is? Tú. Tú. Tú, usted. Tú. Y. Él. 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 She. Ella. girls. It. Eso. 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 El it lo vamos a utilizar para cosas y para animales. So that one is for animals and things. Okay, the other one is we. What does it mean? Nosotros. 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 That's right. Then we have you again. Ustedes. Ustedes. El you Ustedes. lo utilizamos tanto en forma singular como plural. Puede ser usted, puede ser ustedes. And then we have a last one, which is they. What does it mean? Ellos. 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 Okay. So we're clear about this. Um, remember that we use the personal pronouns to substitute a noun. Los utilizamos para sustituir un nombre. Por ejemplo, si estoy hablando de Mary. Mary is a singer. Mary is a singer. She sings pop. En la segunda oración ya no repito Mary, 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 right? Utilizo en lugar de Mary, she. Ok, se utilizan los pronombres para ir sustituyendo el nombre que ya hemos mencionado. Um, por ejemplo, um, let me write another example. So you say, for example, Tom and Cindy are friends. They are nice. Acá, este they se está refiriendo a quién? Ellos. Tom and Cindy, right? Tom and Cindy. Entonces, para eso es que utilizamos los pronombres. So please repeat, everybody. I. 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 I you. You, he, 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 and we are going to watch the video about the verb be. So I need you all to pay attention, please. Um, 
So look at the example. Are you Stephen Carson? Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart you can see the pronoun I that will be equals to M for the pronouns you we and they you're going to use are and for the pronouns he she and it then uh, we're going to use is so um, if we look at the examples I'm Jennifer Miller this is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller you can see the meaning of those detractions towards the right, right hand side of the screen now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Then uh, we're going to try to make sense of it. Right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be M. I am. The complement is just other words that are used. For example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? It's the English teacher. Okay, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember, uh, for that we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. We're going to say uh, Mario, that's his name. Um, he, and we're going to say he is uh, a mechanic. He is. at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's <laughs> learn how to form yes or no questions. You okay so that's the way we use the verb me right? So as you heard, um, today's lesson objective is by the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. So the verb to be, what does it mean? ¿Cuál sería el significado del verb to be? Ser o estar. Ser o estar, right? So then we conjugate it. Ahí lo vamos conjugando. En el presente, este tiene tres formas distintas, que son am, what's the other one? Um, um, uh, am, 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 is, 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 is and are. 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 are, 
So we have three different forms. Um, is and are. Um, is, are. Then, um, well, we use a different form for each of the pronouns. Para cada persona o para cada pronombre, tenemos una forma ya definida. Por ejemplo, para I, ¿cuál vamos a utilizar? Um. Um, 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 um. Esto no puede cambiar nunca. Siempre que utilice I, tiene que ser am. Um. No puede decir eh, is ni are. Tiene que ser am. Um. I am. Then uh, have you. You uh, are. Are. He. Are. Is. 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 She. Is. 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 is we uh, are, 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 are are you are 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 are, are and they are, 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 are they are okay and also um in the video we were explained about the contraction En inglés también utilizamos mucho las formas contractadas. ¿Por qué? Eh, pues se utilizan como una forma de hablar más rápido, más fluido, ¿ok? So, um, y eh, cabe mencionar que son muy informales. Entonces, siempre que utilicemos eh, contracciones será en un ambiente informal como cuando hablamos con nuestros amigos, cuando estamos enviando tal vez mensajes, normalmente los utilizamos en una conversación eh, oral, pero en forma escrita solamente será cuando sea eh, un ambiente o un contexto informal. Then um, the contractions we have for the verb be are the following. So we have for I am, what's the contraction? Um, I'm. 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 For you, we say. Sure. Sure. For he. His. 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 Then we have she. Is. She. He. She. It is. Becomes. It. 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 And we are becomes where 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 okay then we have again you are which becomes your and they are there 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 Si se fija, lo que hemos hecho es básicamente eliminar la primera letra de la segunda palabra, o sea, del verb be, y sustituirla con un apóstrofe. Right? Over here we have I am. We erase the A and then we have the apostrophe. Ahí vamos, quitan, quitamos la A y ponemos el apóstrofe. Lo mismo sucede acá. Elimino la primera letra y va el apóstrofe. And it's the same for is, right? So now I need to repeat, please. I am. 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 You are. You are. You are. You are. Your. You. He is. He is. He is. His. 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 She is. She is. She is. She is. She is. She is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It's. Repeat, please. It, it, it's. 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 It
We are. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. Okay, so keep on practicing the pronunciation for the contracted forms. It's important to emphasize the last sound. Es importante pronunciar el último sonido, porque si no, sonaría como que estamos solamente diciendo el pronombre, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que tener cuidado acá de decir I'm, I'm, con esa mm, al final, I'm. Your, your, Okay, so that is what we have for the affirmative form of the verb to be. Do we have any questions till now? Tenemos preguntas. Mira, hemos entendido bien hasta esta parte. Este viernes, porque quiero que me lleven de la Yes. Now, um, let's talk about sentences. How do we make sentences using the verb to be? Well, so as you saw in the video, we use the structure, subject, then we need the verb be, and after that, we add a complement, then the period. Solo necesitamos tres elementos, el sujeto, luego el verb be, que va a ir en la forma am, is, or are, dependiendo del sujeto, y... Por último, agregamos un complemento. Por ejemplo, acá ya tengo un sujeto y tengo un complemento. ¿Cómo sería la oración? I, 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 am, I, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. You say, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. I am. Otra cosa importante acá es que cuando hacemos oraciones, iniciamos con letra mayúscula y también terminamos con un puntito. Ok, I am a teacher. It starts with a capital letter. At the end, you need a period. Ok, there we have. Oh. There we have another one. Can you make the sentence? You are, you are, you are, are an engineer. An engineer. 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 Okay. Um, do you know the meaning of engineer? Entendemos engineer. el significado? Engineer. Yeah, exactly. Ingeniero. You're right, ingeniero. Okay, mm -hmm. next one. He, a lawyer. What's the sentence? He is, he is, he is a lawyer. He is a lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer, we say. Lawyer, lawyer. Lawyer. Que es abogado, okay? Lawyer, abogado. Okay, next one, she in the park. She is in the park. In the park. Okay. Number five. Eat on the chair. If it is it is on the chair. It is on the chair. It is on the it chair. Is, it is. It is on the chair. Okay. Pretty good. So that's how we make sentences using the verb be. So let's see. Here I have some more. I'm Mateo. Oh. So here I have some others for you to make. 
Um, but let's, let's just leave them for homework. Vamos a dejar eso como una pequeña tarea que completemos las últimas tres oraciones y también eh, voy a necesitar que hagamos estas oraciones pero utilizando la forma contractada. Por ejemplo, acá tengo I am a teacher. Voy a escribir. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I That's what am, you have to do. I am a teacher. Okay, so that would be um, the homework. Esa sería la pequeña tarea. Completamos las oraciones, luego las cambiamos a la forma contractada. Les voy a enviar en este momento una foto al grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes las tengan, ¿ok? Ok. okay. okay. Eh, Miss, ¿Ya? ¿eso lo mandaríamos, eso se lo mandaríamos por WhatsApp o mañana aquí en la clase? Exacto, en la clase lo revisamos mañana. Para que lo practiquemos, ¿verdad? Exactly, that's right. Ok, gracias. All right, so there you are. Um, thank you very much for, for, for participating in the class. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.